Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we are working on dropping our aggressive expansion here and that will happen very soon. The target point that I mentioned previously was around 10 or so and I'm probably going to stick with that. So we're going to let that drop and then we're going to go after the Ptolemaics after that. I'd like to sweep in and take over all of this territory over here for sure and then whatever we can get here and then down this direction as well. But this down here is all guaranteed ours, right? As long as we take this, we're golden. So that seems absolutely phenomenal. While we're waiting for our aggressive expansion to drop, of course, we can spend our gold in some cities, so we can certainly do that. What do we got going on here? Okay, we can put in a pair of taverns, and from there we can build some forums. Cool. This can be a tavern here. We built a foundry here. Yeah, this is this is pretty much good to go, as it is. What do we got in this city? Absolutely nothing, and it's not loyal enough to do anything. Okay, it's not going to be for a little while either. So up over this way, not a lot going on here. Earthenware, huh? Okay. Well, we can definitely make that be a slave city. Ooh, 847 gold. Yes, please. So that's great, and that, of course, is now more gold that we need to spend. I'll just... Add it to the rest of the pile. We've got honey here. Okay. I guess that's fine too. Cool. So that seems fine. Out over this direction, why can't we build here? Oh, we don't have the gold. Okay, we spent our gold successfully. Fantastic. For now. There will be more. That's the problem. There's always more gold. I'm not sure that that's actually a problem. I, I feel like that might not be a problem. That might be a good thing. I don't know. Hard to say. So, at this point, we're down to 15 aggressive expansion, losing 0.3 per month. So, roughly one every three months or so. So, we're looking at slightly over a year before we want to go to war here. Where is this? This city here. So, we could either get an aqueduct or a commercial district. I don't really care about either. I'm going to take the aqueduct because that gives population growth. So that'll be fine for the moment. Now, I'm thinking right now that we should probably move this army over to Alexandria. And this army, I'm going to move to Memphis. We are preparing to fight the Ptolemaics. So that'll be absolutely wonderful. So this over here is Armenian. Right. We are going to look to fight Macedon eventually, but we need to get the Ptolemaics taken over. I'm also interested in potentially annexing Upper Egypt. What's their opinion of us? You know... Let's do it. Let's get them integrated. I'm not interested in, in integrating Fafara yet, and Tabanes, are they our vassal? No, they're still allied with the Ptolemaics. We haven't gotten them yet. That's right. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely A-OK. -okay. No colonizable territories at this moment. But let's just move these guys into position and get them drilling. Wonderful. There we go. So that looks good. Now, back up over this way. We've got this city here. This produces glass. This would be a potentially decent research city. The buildings are kind of mediocre. We probably do need a couple of research cities now and then. So I'm going to do it. We're going to put in three noble districts, three citizen districts, and th three courts of law here. And then we need a little bit more gold for an academy. We'll get there. So that'll be fine. There we go. That's now maxed out in terms of its building slots. There's a city up over here and a city up over here as well. So we produce earthenware here. This would be a foundry location. We would need gold for that, of course. And we're just looking to keep our gold spent as best we can. For right now, there's a citizen district here. We're going to want to get rid of that. The Great Temple isn't bad. That's giving us good conversion. So we're okay with that. There's also the two shrines, which I'll keep around for as long as possible. We'll get rid of them eventually, though. Okay, so we're going to need to put in some mills here. We'll get a couple of those going, and we'll call that good for now. We're currently at 13 aggressive expansion. Our tyranny is not dropping. 
due to our number of deified rulers. Is there something we can do about that? Hmm. These are Pantheon deities. I'm not sure if there's anything we can do about that, to be honest. Uh, yes. We're one family of one name. Okay. That was a lot of things happening all at once. A minor addendum is really, really good here. We can boost up our stability. And that brings us back positive in our stability. We also need a new rope, which is going to be this guy. And that seems wonderful. Okay. So we're currently a few months away from wanting to declare on the Ptolemaics. Wife required. Who is this? This guy is our rope. I'm sure he can figure it out. I don't actually care all that much. So that seems good. I want to pop back up over here quick. Get another mill going. And we can start thinking about putting in a couple of slave traders here. I'm also interested in getting rid of this citizen district. So that'll be fine. Are we interested in paying to replace the stockpile? No, we are not. So we're going to get rid of the citizen district and put in a tavern. We might leave the shrines for the moment. Although the Great Temple is probably good enough. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the shrines and we're going to put in the taverns. Okay, so that looks good. We've got a city here. It produces stone. We are absolutely putting in a foundry immediately. That seems excellent. The other buildings here can stay. So we'll just get some of that going. There's not actually a colonizable territory. There is a low food supply out over in this city. Okay. For now, let's cancel this route. That'll bring us down to three of three. And let's see if this is still negative on food. We'll keep an eye on that. If it is, we'll need to act. But we'll need to give that a month tick. So any moment now, we'll find out. And I'm assuming we have some decent production over here. This produces livestock. I mean, a foundry would double that. So we can get that going and get some food there. And then let's check in over here. Yeah, still minus 44, huh? We produce some fish down over here. Okay, now the food is going up. Cool. So that looks good. We have starving pops over here, but they that will get fixed. So no problem there. Now, back up over this direction. We know that we want an additional mill here. And we also know that we want some slave traders. Do we preserve the grove? Yes, we do. So that's going to boost our build cost by 10%, but whatever. Okay, so let's get ourselves a tavern. Looks good. We need a governor up over here, and a scorned family member would be the way to go here. Uh, there's one. Okay. For a second there, I was going to be like, are they scorned without having anyone who can have the job? Because that can happen in this game, and it's very strange. Very strange indeed. However... We are now below 10 aggressive expansion. I'm going to stop these guys from drilling, and we are going to walk over to Pringles over here. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not named Pringles, but whatever. We're going to walk down over this way as well. Okay, so just waiting for these lads to get into position. The old ways. No. No, that, that's not happening. This guy's a legate, and that is a concern, because he is going to probably be disloyal. 36, that's not super disloyal, but I'm going to bribe him regardless. So there we go. That'll be fine. We're now in position to fight these lads, and that's wonderful. So where is Hawad, anyway? In Upper Nubia. So that's, like, down over this way? North Nubia? South Nubia? Yeah, it's, it's somewhere down here. That's okay. Not a big concern. So, we're going to declare this war. There we go. 
And now we're going to head into Siwa over here. And then these lads, they're going to head in directly here. Excellent. Now, I am not expecting a significant amount of resistance from the tall names, to be honest. We stack wipe here. That looks good. These guys are going to head south next. But we absolutely want to take this territory first. Now, these are uninhabitable. So they might not actually be able to grab this now that I look at it. The Ptolemaics are already suing for peace. They are offering us all of this. And I don't even know what what all that is. Um, I'm going to decline this offer. I want to make our own offer. And these lads, they're going to head southward. The Ptolemaics know that they're not going to win this. That's what's going on here. Okay. They're trying to offer us a lot, but we're going to take way more than that. Way, way more. So that is absolutely wonderful. Siwa is under our control now, and I want these guys to come down here. Okay, so specifically, I want to take this. Oh, that's occupied by us right now. Right, right, right. Yeah, so I want to head down and start a siege over here, I think. Yes, that is indeed exactly what I want. So the Mesopotamian Civil War has ended. Sounds good. We're going to start a siege here. That looks good. The Ptolemaics are offering us additional peace. We're going to decline that. They're offering us basically the entire Nile, which is insane. I don't know why they're doing that, but whatever. So we're going to siege here, and we have our second force on the way down to here. However, that's about to be taken by our vassal. So with that in mind, we should probably go directly down to siege Tabanesi. Which I absolutely want to separate piece. Oh, Merc's over here. Okay. I absolutely want to separate piece Tabanesi and make them be our vassal. So that is one of the significant missions of this war. But we don't actually have any progress over here. Okay, the Ptolemaics are just continually offering us this same offer. It's not going to be a thing. Now, where exactly is Hawad? Well, that's a little awkward. Okay, we'll be a long ways away from that. So ticking war score is going to be a problem for a bit. That's understood. There's also this up over here, but that is Cabanesi, and I'm not too concerned about it. We should arrive down here and get this siege going very soon. And these guys are taking this back for us. Very nice of them. Okay, this is now under control. We are progressing the siege. Perfect. I'd love it if these guys would go fight Tabanasi, but I don't know if they have the troops. Honestly, Upper Egypt should go do it. Would be ideal. Okay. So, looking at the progress of these sieges, they seem okay. It's nothing fantastic, but it's acceptable. Yeah. I don't like the fact that we're not pulling ahead of these guys down here. Especially with this fort here. But for the time being, it's fine. Okay, so they're going to disrupt this siege. That is a very good thing. They're losing, which is a less good thing. But they did delay them a little bit anyway. So this is now done. Tabanesi completed. We're going to head down to Symbol. With the idea here being we take this and then we go over and lift this siege. While these guys finish their siege here and come start one here. That's the idea. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to sue for peace specifically against Tabanesi with them becoming our client state right now. And they will accept this. So they get pieced out. They are now our client state. Beautiful. So that is one big part of our mission completed. Now that did build us up some aggressive expansion, but it is automatically dropping down and that looks great. 
we're going to finish this up and then head over and fight the Ptolemaics over here, assuming they don't complete their siege here. It would be bad luck if they did. They didn't, but they did progress it. Okay, let's see if we get there in time. We may or may not. Okay, so it is currently unclear which side will win here. We have higher morale and better quality, but our commander has two less than they do, and the terrain is to their benefit. We should be the defenders there, though. So I think we should win that fairly easily. Oh, they won the siege right before we arrived, like days before, like one day before. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, we still win the battle, and we'll siege it right back. It should siege very, very quickly. Okay. Excellent. So we win that battle, and we'll siege this back. We shouldn't have any significant problems with sieging it. And we also see our vassals have taken some territory down here. That's all well and good. Okay, this siege is now over, and we're going to head over this way. I'm wondering where their army went. They're up here. Okay. So that's absolutely noted. I want to go deal with those. We're going to cap this first. And now we're going to come up and see if we can fight them. Low morale. So we're already at 14% here. That looks fine. We're going to get this siege done. We caught this guy red-handed. We'll have him flogged. Okay, we're going to come over this direction. We had a civic advance. That is very good, of course. I want to grab... We cannot grab this just yet. We'd have to grab, like, entrenchment. Which is, again, fort defense and isn't really what we're going for. But that allows us to get to these siege ability techs, which is really, really good. So, we're waiting for this to finish, and we are easily winning this battle. A useful reputation, perhaps, indeed. Now we're going to head down and take this back. Excellent. I keep hoping that this siege will end soon. It hasn't yet, unfortunately. Eventually it will. Okay, this is actually occupied by us. So what we need to do is walk back around here. They're now offering us this peace deal. Which we decline. So we're going to walk back around, look to fight the Ptolemaics again, and then start up a siege here. Now we finished this siege, and I don't actually want these guys to come siege here. I want to come down this way. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to do that, and we're going to come take over a bunch of this territory, is the idea. Okay. So the Ptolemaics have definitely fallen far, right? No doubt about that. This is going very poorly for them. Like, I'm not meaning this war. I mean this whole game is going very poorly for them. It's, it's really not good for the Ptolemaics right now. So, we have the Levantine Kingdom traditions finished, of course, and we can start going this direction, but why? We don't have Axemen, we don't have Light Infantry, so there's no reason to get any of this. We could grab Coastal Sea Combat Bonus or Ship Damage Taken, and both are good. I think we'll grab this for now, and then we'll just make our way down here, and then we'll grab these at the end when we have nothing else to spend it on. So they're offering us peace again. Is this that same peace deal? It is. We're going to decline that. Cool. Keep in mind, we are still losing aggressive expansion. So things are still getting better for us at this point. So the Ptolemaics are currently down over here retreating. And I'm not sure where they're retreating to. Apparently right here. Okay, that's noted. Well, I'd like to complete this siege. Let's see what they're going to do. Are they going to come out this way and start trying to start trying to take like this, come down here? They're going to be caught by these forts in both cases here. They could go up this way, I suppose. We'll see what they decide to do. There's forts in most paths. Not every path, but most paths. For now, they're just invisible. We don't we don't know where they are. 
They're just sitting up in here somewhere. Actually, specifically, they're probably sitting here in Corsia. They have to be, right? Because we'd see them in Talmis. We'd see them here, see them here. They could be sitting here or here, I suppose. But we'd see them here or here. So they're in one of these three, one of these three settlements. I don't want to add these to Outliner. Thank you. Okay. So now we're going to come down this direction. There is a Ptolemaic Kingdom levy down here. They're currently sieging a fort there, which is an interesting thing for them to be doing. I'm not sure why they're doing that, but okay. And we also see Farfara coming in over here, starting to take some of this territory. So that is, of course, good. We do want to have Hawad in our control, and this will do the trick. So that'll get ticking war score on our side. They are responding to this, which isn't shocking. Beautiful. So with Hawad on our side, that'll get us ticking war score. We're going to come down over this way. Excellent. Okay, so they're taking back some of the territory over here. That's fine. What is this peace deal? Same peace deal. We decline it. Cool. So they're not making progress on this siege, which isn't shocking. Why do we have a black flagged army? Wait, what just happened? Upper Egypt just took all of this territory. How did they do that? What? I'm very confused by what just happened. To be clear, it's good. <laughs> Upper Egypt is our vassal, and we're currently actively integrating them. So that pushes us over to here, because this is now all Upper Egypt. I don't understand how that happened. To be quite honest, we didn't get aggressive expansion for it, but I really don't understand how that could have been a thing. How did Upper Egypt take all of this? Very strange. I mean, to be clear, again, it's a good thing. We're happy about that. Aren't we? Or are there two Upper Egypts now? They have the same insignia. There are two Upper Egypts. These guys rebelled against the Ptolemaics. That makes a lot more sense. Because I was like, why are we black flagged? And then I was like, wait a second. Yeah. So that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world either. We can take territory from Upper Egypt as well, but it's awkward. Yeah. So the problem here is there's two Upper Egypts, and they are otherwise identical. We're going to decline this offer for now, and these guys are still chilling out over here. We need to come take this territory. That is absolutely a necessity. And then we need to head southward and be working on dealing with this. Okay. So that made things very awkward. I didn't understand previously exactly what was happening, but yeah, Upper Egypt and Upper Egypt are separate Upper Egypts. They're separate polities. So that is absolutely something to be aware of. And it makes a lot more sense now. Because Egypt is currently not exactly in civil war, but they are under rebellion. Okay. Okay. So we're going to get this siege done. We're going to take this. We're driving their armies before us into these areas. And that seems relatively fine. But we want to grab this. And then they're taking this back. But there's only so many places they can go, right? They are absolutely not in a good position here. We need to get this siege finished. And then once that's done... All we need to do is take these two states. And then I'm not sure if we'll be able to full annex the Ptolemaics or not. We might be able to with what they have left. That would be very interesting for sure. They're still offering us the same peace deal, which we decline, which is basically their entire territory, actually. Yeah, it's basically their entire territory. So that is noted. We need these guys to come on down over here now. 
would like to properly fight their armies at some point, but we really need this fort to fall, is what really needs to happen here. They're piling in, or they were going to. They decided not to, and here's the question. Is this actually full annexation? No, it is not. Okay, that is not quite full annexation. So that is absolutely noted. I want to bring these guys around up here. I want to fight their army. Okay, so we're going to march here, and we're going to stack wipe this force. No problem. And they are now trying to lift this siege. We're going to bring in reinforcements. I don't think the reinforcements were strictly speaking needed. I think we would have won that without the reinforcements, but we have them here regardless. Excellent. So we win that battle with no real problem, and we're going to have these guys head on out. Wonderful. We're at 21% on that siege, and we need to take Hamadab back. So currently, yeah, they, they control Hawad right now, so we need to take this territory. That'll get us kicking war score back. And actually, I want to head all the way down here, because this is going to finish its siege fairly quickly. I'd like to go find their army, which was why I brought the stronger force out and left the weaker force sieging. Their army is down here. Okay, sure. We're going to go chase them. And it looks like they're going to let us catch them. Right out over here. Yeah, they absolutely are. Beautiful. So the siege here is won, and we're going to come down and siege this city. It's not going to be much of a siege. That was a stack wipe. And now we're going to chase this army. All they've got left is their first taxes. Beautiful. We're going to catch them right in their last capital. So this looks very complete. This is a complete victory at this point. Stack wiped. Beautiful. All we need to do now is get these sieges complete. There's very little that the Ptolemaics can do about this. We're going to fully integrate them. If we can. If the game lets us, I want a full annex. I think we can. But we'll see. Okay. So we're at 99 war score right now. And we want to just annex everything we can if possible. Uh, there's something that's not occupied. Bithynia Inferioris and Heptonomus. What? Hepto 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 wow, I cannot speak. Heptonomus is fully occupied, though. Oh, it can't be occupied by us. Right. We need to flip this over to Upper Egypt. So this is going to go to Upper Egypt here. And this is also going to go to Upper Egypt. And then this is Parva over here, which probably would also need to go to Upper Egypt in order to be taken. Okay, so it'd be something kind of like that. So now, where's Bithynia Inferioris? Uh... Okay. Ah, it's up over here. The Ptolemaics still have a little territory up in Anatolia. Okay, we'll leave them that. That seems fine. We'll take Heptonomus, and we'll take everything else we can if we can. It's not going to let us take quite all of that. Okay. So that is noted. This is 121 war score. So what do we want to not take? Well, we'll not take Alut, we'll not take Bayuda or Moreau. Uh, actually, I do want Moreau. Let's not take Alana. And this would be acceptable. I do want to take Parva up here. Uh, where is Parva? Yeah, I do want to take Parva. So we would need Murta. Where is Murta? right here. Apparently we can't take this. Let's give this to Upper Egypt. So we'll do something like this. This area is a bit of a mess, but we'll get it all cleaned up eventually. 
Okay, so something like that. Parva to Upper Egypt. Okay, so we're going to leave them these couple of territories here and down here. Perfect. That'll be 52 aggressive expansion, bringing us up to 52.67. That's really not too bad. So they still have a little bit of territory over here. And we should get these guys moving back up to Jerusalem and Emma Ohm, like that. Well, actually, we're going to need to make a lot of roads. Yeah, we're going to need to make a whole lot of roads. Okay, so let's move these guys up over, like... This is all Upper Egypt up here. Yeah, let's move these guys up over here for now. We're going to need to make roads, but that is something for next episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Hiro Marutsu, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.